All right, today I want to show you the uh, the way you can get the N64 emulator to uh, show covers. It, it is a mod that you can uh, show all the covers with all the ROMs, which I haven't seen too many videos of, so I decided to make a video. So uh, here it goes. Now, the more games you have, the longer it's going to take for the emulator to load up all the all the box art and all the ROMs. So, it may take um, up to maybe a minute after you start uh, loading these. And the best way to play N64 games on the Wii, I think, is by using the uh, GameCube controller. So you go over to the new ROM here. It searches for all the ROMs. Like I said, it might take up to a minute, but eventually it will load. As long as you have the proper um, format, the PNG format for the ROMs. So the actual uh, box art will actually show. You can use the SD card or the USB. It's the same process i'm using the sd card where i have all my roms and my box art and there you go so they all load up some of them are missing because these are um like hacks so i have a couple of hacks on there but for the most part these are all the original n64 games uh not all of them work by the way uh you, you gotta look under uh you gotta search uh, which ones are compatible for the Wii because the Wii doesn't play all the N64 games so there's a list that you can look up but I'll load up a game here just to show you that it actually works we'll go uh, Mario Kart 64 is a classic so you just load the ROM press OK and it should uh, load right up And there you go, playing N64 games on the Wii. Um, I've changed the resolution to, to go full screen, but you can do, you can use the 480, which is fine. Like I said, the GameCube controller is the best thing to use when it comes for the Wii, uh, playing N64 on the Wii. So working perfectly, no issues. Like I said, some of the games don't work properly. There's glitches, but for a lot of them, you can play. You can pretty much play um, any N64 game. So now we'll go over. I'll go over on the computer and uh, show you how to download it and how to set it up on your SD card. Okay, now back on the PC, you go over to the GitHub page, which will be down in the description. You get to this page, you scroll down to Wii 64 1.3 mod, you download the zip file, it'll go into your downloads folder, you unzip everything, then this is how my SD card is set up right now to work. Now I have to rename my uh, not 64 folder into the Wii 64 folder so my uh, channel folder would actually work you got to rename it if you have you're gonna have it as the as a as a channel if you if you uh, don't want to use a channel you can just leave it as not 64 but here here's pretty much what your SD card should look like should have the apps folder with not 64 uh, with a boot doll And then under the Wii 64, which I renamed from not 64 to Wii 64, you should have all the covers, which are PNG files with all the name of the ROMs, exactly the same way as you would have the ROMs themselves. So you have a ROMs folder, saves folder, box art bin. You have to have these in here in order for the mod to work. And then the ROMs. 
they got to be unzipped. These cannot be zipped because they have to match the exact name so that we can read the uh, files for the box art. So pretty much 342 games. I know the whole North American um, only has 296, but like I said, some of them are, are uh, mods I just threw in here. So this is pretty much how, how it should look. Mine are all N64 uh, files. So this is basically, so what you do is uh, you get the um, SD card uh, in FAT32. And then pretty much you move all these contents over, uh, slide them over into the Wii card, the SD card. And um, if you have larger cards... Uh, you can format in, for, uh, in FAT32. There's programs out there you can format in FAT32, which is what I did. My, my Mine's a 64 gigabyte. So that's basically it. So hopefully this video helps uh, somebody out. And uh, on to the next video.